So I was actually running while I had my stroke and a couple of my teammates, when they noticed that I was just veering into the middle of the street and slurring my words and not even able to walk or run, um, I, no one had a cell phone. I had no option but to go to a hospital. But because I just happened to be at some of the, the best hospitals in Boston, Brigham and Women's Hospitals, which is attached to Children's Hospital, I was able to get um, a clot-busting drug. And you only have a three-hour window to, to get that drug, and I, I made it in that window. And that was honestly life-saving and why I was able to recover so fully. Um, I was given that clot-busting drug, and that was able to um, dissolve the clot that was blocking the oxygen from my brain. Um, and that's, of course, one of the reasons I'm sitting here today and another one of the reasons why I'm, I was able to recover so fast. Um, unfortunately, most people that have a stroke either don't realize they're having a stroke and don't get to the hospital so fast or get to the hospital and then the doctors might just shrug off that it's actually a stroke because a stroke doesn't happen in young people. Um, so they would miss that window to have that clot bus syndrome. Just, I hear such horrible stories of, of people that aren't as lucky as I am, even in, you know, surrounding towns that go to hospitals that aren't, aren't able to diagnose them with a stroke so fast. I've met so many people throughout this seven year journey that I've gone through that aren't as lucky as I've been and we're sitting in the hospital for hours or even sitting at home for hours and hours and um, not realizing they were having a stroke. A lot of them are confined to wheelchairs now. Um, some of them can't talk and rely on a caretaker to take care of them. And I just, I'm so blessed that the hospital I went to did have the protocols in place to deal with stroke and give me that, that drug that really did help. So when I was diagnosed with lipoprotein A and then, and then being told that it's linked to clotting, my natural first question was, well, what can I do? If it's a type of cholesterol, I should be able to watch my diet, even though I do, and, and exercise more, which I do. Um, but with lipoprotein A, it's a type of cholesterol that you can't control through diet and exercise, which is why just the warning signs of stroke, which is, um, one of the things that the high level of lipoprotein A can cause is it's so important to know and it's, um, it's what I've really gotten to believe in since then is, is just trying to let people know the warning signs of stroke and getting the word out there. Um, I was athletic and I still am. I, I used just my stroke to motivate myself. I just finished my seventh Boston Marathon, so um, obviously it hasn't stopped me too much that um, you don't have to show the symptoms um, of stroke beforehand to, um, to one day have a stroke. It's just be aware of them, um, of the warning signs. Just know that you can be a healthy individual and suffer a stroke, unfortunately. I've run seven marathons with a group that uh, raise awareness for, for stroke and, and funds for stroke research. Um, so I've been able to kind of mix my passion of running and my passion of raising awareness for stroke together for the past seven years.